and all four crew members will be positioned ready for undocking and uh, the beginning of a 17-hour trip back to Earth and a conclusion to this mission. The hatch closes on the SpaceX Dragon capsule. It's the start of a journey back to Earth and the end of an unexpectedly long mission in space for Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. The two NASA astronauts set off for the International Space Station back in June on the maiden flight of Boeing's new Starliner spacecraft. Three, two, one, ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes. But the mission wasn't a smooth one, with helium leaks and thruster breakdowns reported after launch. Boeing insisted the capsule was safe to return the pair to Earth, but NASA weren't prepared to take the risk. Starliner landed devoid of crew, and Williams and Wilmore were left behind. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. With their original trip home cancelled, the two became part of the crew rotation on the space station and had to wait for the next opportunity to fly home. There's been a lot of talk about the two being stranded there, but don't get any thoughts of them just floating around with nothing to do. They're both highly experienced astronauts and the extended mission was an opportunity for some serious work. She's been busy and then of course she did the two spacewalks this time too. She's been part of the, part of the mission that's up there. And, um, and it's her job. As she says, this is her job, it's her profession. And um, you have to be flexible. You have to take it as it comes. So um, she's been really a trooper up there. Now that their replacements on the ISS crew have arrived, they've been able to return after nine months on board. This isn't the longest period humans have spent in space, but after landing, they will have work to do to get used to life back on Earth. You've just spent nine months in this case, floating around without any uh, impact of gravity. And so suddenly you get back to Earth and you have to learn how to walk again, basically. Uh, you pick it up again fairly quickly, but just in that moment when you arrive, you might, you know, hand a pen to somebody, but forget that gravity is there. And so instead of it floating across to them, it'll just drop down onto the ground. They may have been just getting on with their job, but on Earth, the mission became part of a political debate. We're coming up to get you, and you shouldn't have been up there so long. Uh, the most incompetent president in our history has allowed that to happen to you, but this president won't let it happen. We're going to get them out. We're coming up to get you. There's no evidence, though, that there was any political interference in the mission plan at all. From my standpoint, politics is not playing into this at all. From our standpoint, I think that they would agree. Um, we came up prepared to stay long, even though we planned to stay short. That's what we do in human spaceflight. That's what your nation's human spaceflight program is all about, uh, planning for unknown, unexpected contingencies. And we, we did that. Weather permitting, the pair should splash down along with another NASA astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut at around 9.45 tonight, UK time. Sonny Williams and Butch Heart Wilmore begin their belated trip home. Separation confirmed. At the moment, it's not certain when and if the troubled Boeing Starliner will make it into space again. Space, though, has been described as Sonny Williams' happy place, and there are no fears that the last nine months will have changed that. David Harper, ITV News.